Hey guys, I'm very excited. Today we're gonna talk about a Japanese computer and console from the early 90s. So this console is called the FM Towns. So I'm gonna show you how to emulate this with an emulator, a new emulator called Sugeru. The author of this emulator is Captain uh, YS. You may already know it with the flyby screen that LGR um, made a video about it. So it's a very great emulator, it's a bit uh, hard to make it function, to understand everything. So don't worry, I made a guide, a PDF guide, and uh, there's also this video to help you configure. So I hope you have fun using this emulator, and thank you Captain for this emulator. So first I'm gonna introduce you to the machines. So uh, the main machine is this one, uh, FM Towns machine. Uh, FM stands for Fujitsu, Fujitsu Micro. So as you can see, you have two floppy disk drive, a CD drive, and uh, also it should have a hard drive. I'm not sure it's mandatory, but it should. And you can, you see here, you can plug in a pad and a mouse. Okay, so this is the, the computer version, and now this is uh, the Town Smarty version, which is like a console. It released in uh, 1983. So you, you see, oh, there is still the floppy disk. You see here, you see it here, and this is a disk player. And I don't think it has a hard drive, and it still has the two ports for um, the mouse and the gamepad. So it's very important that you understand the machine because uh, when we are going to emulate it, uh, you know what the floppy disk refers to. Basically, it's like a memory card for PlayStation 1, I think. But some games are on floppy disk, but we will not talk about uh, them uh, in this video. There is also the Calmarty version that is featured in this video, uh, which is um, very different. <laughs> so I'm gonna check this video if you're interested. So now let's go for the setup. Okay, so normally if you have download uh, correctly the emulator, you have two files, the Windows binary latest and the FM Town uh, BIOS. So for the Windows binary, you have this file will decompress. So I suggest you to create uh, different folders like this for BIOS, disk, profile and safe states. And these are the shortcuts, one for the CD and one we will see later, it's about uh, all the default safe location, okay? All the BIOS will go in the BIOS section. So you have two files, the CUE file, or common line operated, and the GUI, uh, the graphical interface. So here are how it presents. So you have the upper menu, it's uh, the menu that's gonna be used in-game. So first you select, uh, you click on ROM here to select uh, your BIOS. Just copy and paste and directly and then you just click open and it should work. Then you can save your profile as default. So next you have the CD image. So you have to put the location of the image of the game you want to use. For this example, we will play Splatter House. And you can already start the game. Uh, here, the scaling I use is uh, the default scaling 150%. At the default, you may need to configure uh, your uh, gamepad or keyboard because if uh, no buttons on your uh, gamepad doesn't work you have to configure as a keyboard so to make that you go to um, game port and you change gamepad ho by host keyboard you can say by default if, if you prefer so the default buttons usually used in video game is A, Z and X Beware that I use a Azati keyboard, so maybe it's a Q, W, and X, so you will have to check. 
Uh, as my controller doesn't work, I use a software called Antimicro to map uh, the button from my gamepad to, um, uh, to, to the keyboard. Let's start. Okay, great. So the game runs, and now all you have to do is starting a new game. Okay, so now that we have run Splatterhouse, we'll try to run Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia is a kind of game that uses a user disk, floppy disk, it's like a memory card. So to create one, you go to File, New, and uh, this one, the first one is good. So you just save it to the default folder, and if you want to uh, change the folder, you can. Uh, I believe you can use um, one file for uh, multiple games, but um, Personally, I prefer to use one memory card, one. Now we have to click on FD0, floppy disk 0, and get to the file we just created, the uh, d77.bin, and then we load the file of the game, the Im image. Uh, from this point, you can save the profile, uh, so you won't have to uh, make the folders um, pass again. So just save to the Tsugaru file and then we go to start. So once we pass the introduction we have the menu in Japanese of course. So remember it's such a Japanese concept. And this is a translation. So for this you have to uh, make a name first. And then save uh, save the profile. I meet hi, a yes in Japanese, and then you can launch a game. Uh, some games they will require the user disk to be launched, but uh, usually it's better to use a uh, safe taste. I think uh, it depends on the kind of gamer you are. So that concludes our tutorial, so uh, have fun and uh, thanks to Captain Yes for this great emulator and don't forget to report any bugs to the developer on GitHub and you can leave me a comment if there's something you didn't understand uh, and all the links are in the description so like the video and comment, thank you.